so today i am uh, showing you how to uh, practically implement the service oriented architecture with the help of b2b e-commerce so here my assumption is like this uh, i am having one uh, uh, website and with the help of that website i am selling the mobile phones so here i am showing you uh, how this uh, uh, service oriented architecture is practically implemented with the help of asp.net so today i am recording the part 1 uh, in that part 1 uh, i am including uh, my assumption is i am having one uh, mobile company and uh, to sell the mobile phone i required one website so today i am covering one uh, small application in asp.net and with the help of that application i am showing you how i am uh, storing adding the record inside uh, the uh, inside the grid or inside the table so uh, before starting uh, the practical implementation let us see the scenario how again why uh, i required service oriented architecture so see here so i am having one company and the name of the company is my mobile company and i want to sell my mobile phones so my company mobile phone to any e-commerce site that e-commerce site may be the amazon may be the flipkart may be the ebay so any mobile uh, any e-commerce site i want to sell my mobile phones in that case my mobile company required the service oriented architecture so i have to uh, develop the web services and i have to share my web services with the help of different e-commerce site when i want to do this uh, b2b e-commerce so let us see uh, here uh, whenever uh, the my mobile company want to do the business with different e-commerce site so in that case uh, suppose i have developed uh, the website my mobile company developed the website in asp.net and uh, the e-commerce site here my assumption is um, the e-commerce site uses the .net site for uh, consuming um, the the services so see here my mobile company is uh, having their website and they have developed the website in um, asp.net but they are not directly sharing the resources with any other e-commerce site in that case how the communication take place uh, secured communication take place in that case uh, i am using the service oriented architecture so uh, my mobile company develops uh, the web services with the help of um, asp.net application and with the help of asp.net application i am retrieving the record from my secure database and i am converting that record into xml and so that reading the xml so the e-commerce site they required uh um, the client application to consume the web services provided by my mobile company and they can use any technology asp.net or any technology so for for, uh, for this particular application i am using asp.net uh, for consuming the web services so here uh, the first prerequisite is my mobile company must have their own website for storing different mobile data mobile uh, phone data in their website so see here the prerequisite is what the my mobile company required a website and through that website they are able to store the data display the data edit the data delete the rec uh, data so for uh, adding editing deleting the record they required a web application and today i am showing you uh, how to develop this web application 
for adding, editing, deleting the record with the help of ASP.NET. So let us uh, uh, see the practical implementation of uh, this particular application with the help of .NET. So in .NET, uh, suppose uh, I want to, I, I'm having one uh, uh, mobile company and with the help of that mobile company, I am uh, selling the product. So to sell the product, uh, I required one website. So that website I am developing and uh, my product is mobile phone. So I have taken one database called uh, Samsung mobile database and in that Samsung mobile database, I have created the table called mobile phone tables and in that mobile phone tables, I have considered mobile phone ID, mobile phone name, mobile phone price, description, storage and RAM and see the different data types, ID, integer, mobile phone name, where care, uh, price, float, description, where care, storage, uh, where care and RAM, where care. So I have created one table uh, called mobile phone table. And now I am writing the application for adding, editing, deleting the record in that mobile phone table. So how to write uh, the application in um, uh, ASP.NET and for that I have created one solution file. So I have created one solution and uh, in that solution I have taken one project and the name of the project is uh, the name of the project I have given as Samsung site. And in that Samsung site, I have uh, added one, uh, one uh, web page, the web form and I have given the name for that uh, web form is samsung.aspx and see here uh, the design of my website. So I have just taken one uh, logo of my company and this logo is again stored inside the image folder and I have just mapped the image here. So PNG file I have used. Uh, then I have taken one grid for adding the record. So text boxes I have taken. Here I have taken one button. This is what uh, the mobile phone name, price, description, storage and RAM based on the table. So I have already shown you the table and with the help of the table I have taken one um, data entry form. I have designed one data entry form and I have designed the grid. So I have designed the grid here uh, and uh, through this grid, I am uh, showing the record to the end user. I am uh, editing the record, deleting the record with the help of these particular buttons. So let us see the, the code behind this particular form. So I am showing you the code. Uh, before uh, uh, seeing the code, uh, let us see first the connection string. So connectivity. So see here the catalog name is main table name is uh, database name is Samsung mobile. So I have uh, added the connection string Samsung mobile and the provider is SQL client. So I have taken one um, database. So as uh, Samsung mobile. So you add the connection string in web.config. So after the, and the connection string is, uh, string name is C-O-N-S-T-R. So connection string name is C-O-N-S-T-R. C-O-N-S-T-R. Then uh, let us see the actual code. What code I have written for adding the record, editing the record, deleting the record. So here, if I'm using the database, then you have to use, you have to add these three namespaces using system.data, using system.data.sql client and using system.configuration. 
so here i have used uh, the grid view and for page load i have bind the grid view with the page load event so as soon as, as soon as i am executing the this particular application the data is fetch existing data is fetch from the database and shown that data uh, in the form of grid so for binding uh, the data inside the grid so uh, i have taken connection string so this connection string variable i have taken from web.config file selecting all the mobile phone and binding all the mobile phones uh, through the grid view so i am retrieving the record from the this particular table so i am retrieving the record from this particular table and i am binding that record so see here i have added field few records so i am retrieving this record from the table and i am binding this record with the help of grid view and uh, uh, the page load event i am showing all the records to the end user so for inserting the record so insert uh, method i have used for adding the record so initially the blank uh, information and as soon as i am adding uh, clicking on the add button so insert query is fired and the record is inside inside the database close the database execute the query so that the record is displayed in the uh, the grid view the last record so display the record uh, so grid view edit on row edit command i have used so on row edit uh, function i have used for editing the record for updating the record again update query is fired so see here i have used the update query for updating the record so this is what the update query and as soon as you update the record so you show the updated record to the end user so grid view cancel so i have taken that grid view cancel uh, method as well so to del uh, delete the record from the uh, the grid so i have taken uh, the grid view delete record so this is what the grid view for deleting the record so grid view delete confirmation message so you can add the different methods for adding editing deleting or updating the record so uh, this particular uh, in this particular example i have designed the form and through that form uh, this is what uh, what the logo of my company then i have um, i'm uh, i have designed this particular site for adding editing deleting updating Uh, this particular uh, record with the help of this particular website so the, in this uh, website i have not used any application of service oriented architecture so prerequisite is organization is having their own website for selling their own product so in the next uh, lecture uh, i am showing you how to develop the web services for sharing these web services with help of the e-commerce site so today uh, i am just showing you how to develop the uh, .net application for adding the record using asp.net so i have designed the application so let us run the application so i am running the application in firefox browser so i have opened my firefox browser so today i am uh, demonstrating you that 
uh, the Samsung dot ASPX is one site. They are selling their own mobile phones with the help of their own site, and we are uh, today uh, we are uh, developing that application. So today we have not uh, yet seen the implementation of service-oriented architecture. Today we have just seen the how to add the record, edit the record, delete the record with the help of grid view in ASP.NET. So see here, I have retrieved all the record from the database with the help of grid view. If you want to edit the record, if you want to delete the record, you can delete. So see here, if I want to delete the last record, just click on delete button. So as soon as you delete button, the record is deleted. So here, uh, let us see the procedure of adding the record. So my notebook pro, this is what uh, my new mobile uh, phone name. And uh, I'm adding uh, the price I have decided for selling is 35,000. Description, all the new features I have added uh, with the help of this particular mobile phone. Storage, uh, 128 GB. RAM, 16 GB. I'm just adding this particular record with the help of add button. So as soon as I have added the record, the record is inserted. So see here, uh, today we have seen the procedure of uh, uh, creating the website, adding the record inside the website, add, edit, delete, all the code operation uh, performed on the web app, uh, website. And here I have considered as a my mobile company and this company is having different mobile phone and with the help of this particular site they are selling this uh, mobile phone they are providing this mobile phone information to the customer so they have their own site for uh, selling the mobile phone but same company want to do the business with other e-commerce site like amazon flipkart ebay in that case, they have to use the service oriented architecture. So in my next lecture, I'm showing you how to create the web services uh, using this particular application. So today we have just uh, uh, seen the demo or demo of creating uh, the web application, adding the record, editing the record, deleting the record with the help of this web application. So in my next lecture, I am creating the web services uh, which is required for sharing my data securely with the help of different e-commerce site so today i am covering this much only